What's going on, PC fans? I guess today you guys will be happy because we're doing another unboxing of some cool PC products. What are we doing today? Well, today we're gonna do an unboxing of a $60 liquid cooler from the people over at Corsair. This is their H60. Now, this is pretty much kind of an entry-level water cooler, but for 60 bucks, it's damn well priced. I know a lot of you guys have out there been asking me for like a review comparing them all, but it actually takes a lot of time. I'm gonna have a full review on all of these things, but actually doing the lab and doing the testing to make this right takes a lot of time. I'll have it for you, I promise. But for today, let's jump in and let's do the unboxing and check out what comes in this new Corsair H60 box. So, all right, folks, before we bang into the unboxing, I just want to show something to you guys that uh, my tech got me. This is this little Black Ops thing. It's Black Ops Special Projects Division. Now, this thing's pretty cool. These little flaps right here, they're made to actually disengage so that in case of like bad weather, they won't break. These tabs pull off very simply. So in hot and cold weather, they won't swell or break. Now, this thing's cool. Let me open it up here. You guys can see it comes with a very cool knife. You guys will be seeing more of this when I open it up. And it comes with a lighter. This thing's like a torch-like lighter. You can see where you fill it up in there. And then the little torch here on top. Although I haven't filled it up because it's brand new. But with this trusty knife today, I'm going to do the unboxing. So let's pop the knife out right now. Take a closer look at it. You guys can see it says Black Ops right on the side of it. It's pretty cool anodized red and black. On the other side, it's got some more nomenclature. A little clippers so you can wear it on your belt. Now let's take a look at the actual Corsair H60 box. Here's the front of it. Not too much to it, just as their Hydro series. This will work on both AMD and Intel series CPUs. You don't have to worry about that. All the hardware is included inside the box. So no matter what kind of thing you got out there, this is going to fit on. You don't need any other equipment. Here's the back of it. Just show you some thermal facts that these guys are have on there. That's about it. Not really too much to this box. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple incisions right here. How about I can take the plastic and just rip it off of here. Get this thing in here again. Those little two incisions right there didn't work as well as I thought they would, so I'll make another one. Go ahead and rip the old plastic off of there. So it's always kind of like a Christmas day, only instead of having wrapping paper, I get to deal with the plastic. It's like having all your gifts, but you know what they are. Hmm. Hey, I see you got me an H60 for Christmas. Oh, all right. So, go ahead and spin that around, get all the plastic off of it. Pop it down. Usually these boxes pop open on the end and open up. So it looks like this one's going to do the same thing. So I'll go over here. Go ahead and pop that cap on the box. And here we have it. So right on the top it says, Stop! Do not return this product to the store. Ni pas retornar se product our magazine. Dies product nick in grischen zurken gerken birken. I'm just kidding around trying to spin these languages. It's pretty funny. But basically it says, Don't return this to the store. Return it to them. So I'll get that out of the way. Got your little warranty against defects cards. I wish I could get one of these for some of my friends. Any way I can get one of these up front before I get friends? A warranty against defects? No, no probably not. Oh, well, bummer. Then here we go right here. Just some more Solutions Guide 2010. This is probably just going to be a thing talking about all their different products, which what it is. Talks about their power supplies, their cases, all their good stuff. These guys make a lot of good products from memory to SSDs to cases. You guys know Corsair has a strong, strong name in the business. Here's the high performance hydro CPU cooler. This is going to be the installation quick guide. A lot of people think there's a lot to water cooling, but this is a very closed loop system and actually installation is very, very easy. You'll be surprised. Installation is actually much easier than even your standard air cooler. So that's all this stuff in here. Not too much. I'm not going to bore you guys with that stuff because you install it, you're going to learn it. Let's take a look at the product itself, the H60. So got one more box in here. That's really about it. So I'll set the box off to the side. Go ahead and remove the unit outside of the little box here. Getting cut too much on stuff here. Let me get that out of there, little sucker. All right. So what do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? All right, so let's get this out of the way. We have all of the mounting screws. Hundred and twenty millimeter fan. All 
all the different mounting brackets for AMD, Intel, Motorola. No, just kidding. So you guys can see you have all that. So whether you have AMD or Intel, you're in business. And then last but not least, let's take a look at the unit itself. Now, you guys can see this unit has a very, very small radiator. It'll fit in just about anything. You can hook it to the back of your system, to the top of your system, very, very easy. So all you're really doing with that, as you see us here, here's the block and the pump. This is actually made by a company called Aztec. They do a lot of different marketing for people and make products. They're one of the biggest names in the industry. Here we can see the copper bottom. They've already got their thermal compound on there, so you don't need to apply any of that. All you have to do is mount it up, put it on your unit, and away you go. Fan controller. And that's pretty much it, folks. You guys get the unit, the mounting hardware, the fan, the screws, and that's it. So, all right, there you guys have it. Now, check this out. This thing sells for 69 bucks, but we've found it on sale for 60 bucks, and you guys can check out that link in the description below. Now, a lot of you guys have asked me what's really different between the H55 and the H60, and I can tell you that very easily. The H60 will cool better with the fan at lower spinning speeds. The H55, you have to turn the fans up to a much higher caliber to get the same results. So, basically, the H55 and the H60 H60 work pretty similar, but the H60 will be much quieter and more efficient. If you don't care about noise or anything, you want to save a few bucks, get the H55, crank that fan up, and deal with it. But those are the basic differences. So anyways, folks, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and show me the love and let me know that you're here for me like I'm here for you. Also, you want to make sure that you're subbed. Always, we're giving stuff away. We have lots of stuff on Twitter going on. Make sure you guys guys follow us on Twitter and tweet articles in our news because we always have stuff that we're giving to you. So with that said, I'll see you guys back here on the channel. I think I'm going to go out and uh, skinny dip.